Hi there and welcome to Bookmark, another book review. And today or tonight I am reviewing a book called Endal, E-N-D-A-L. Uh, it came out in uh, paperback, HarperCollins, in 2009. So it's it's quite an old book, or at least it's been around for a few years. And it was actually loaned to me by a member of my last church. And sadly, she has now uh, died. Uh, but she told me to hold on to the book. Uh, she'd finished with it. And her policy was when she'd read a book, she was glad to clear it and not clutter the house. I do clutter the house with books. So um, it's a font remember of a member of my last church. And... Uh, a wonderful read and I'll tell you just what it says on the back here because it's about um, a, a service dog that uh, attends to a person in need and it's a narrative, it's a story and, and well worth reading. It says this, Alan Parton suffered a serious head injury while serving in the Gulf War and returned home unable to walk, talk or remember most of his life. He couldn't even remember his wife Sandra and their two children. After five years of rehabilitation, he was still severely dis disabled. Sandra was a nurse, so thought she would be able to help her husband. But the Alan who had returned didn't remember her and couldn't cope with what life had dealt him. Determined to be strong, Sandra would have to fight to keep her family together. Endel was a Labrador puppy with problems of his own until he was adopted. Alan and Sandra adopted him. He was to change their world and give them back their family. It tells a wonderful, very heartwarming narrative with levels of sadness and poignancy too about lives that were unravelling and were hugely changed by a dog. Uh, um, Alan returned home from the Gulf War, as you heard, with, with injuries and, and many challenges. It spiralled down into depression and his family even couldn't reach him and things were coming to a really grim impasse. Uh, but they got a, a service dog through the contact of a friend and this dog, Endel, the, the Labrador, yellow Labrador, changed their lives. Um, his exuberance, his ability to help, um, he, he dragged literally almost Alan out of his uh, deep depression, um, which had all sorts of negative consequences at the time for the family. Uh, and, and really, um, this vicious circle became a virtuous circle. Um, his life improved, Alan's life improved, his mood lifted, he was able to do more things. And um, th th there are references in this book to lots of things. You can also follow something of the narrative if you go onto the internet and Google it Endel, because that will be su that will suffice to tell the story. And I looked at two or three YouTube videos um, from a few years back now, obviously, that tell something of the story. Um, Endel was able to get Alan out and about uh, he became mobile again. His interest in life and people and everything began to pick up and improve. Uh, Endel was able to do the shopping for him, you know, lifting items from the shelf and putting in the basket. Endel was able to pay for the uh, shopping with a credit card or a plastic card. Uh, was able to get money out of a bank, uh, a hole in the wall machine. Um, able to do all sorts of things, um, you know, take the, the, the washing in, uh, uh, out of the t machine and uh, all sorts of tasks. Um, uh, unbelievable. And, and then there was this, there was an actual uh, incident in the book where Alan, by this stage, had become a bit of a celebrity with his dog and he was going to Crufts to the, I think, the Exhibition Centre in Birmingham. He was coming to the hotel and he was knocked over by a car that reversed. Now, it wasn't, it wasn't a critical, critical uh, injury and it obviously wasn't fatal. But nonetheless, he was on the ground, out of his wheelchair, vulnerable to anyone else turning the corner and driving over him. Uh, and Endel actually pulled him into the recovery position and brought over his phone, which had gone sort of skew with with, with the fall and the incident. And he managed to use the phone. Alan used the phone that the dog had brought and he was able to get some help and rescue. So this is a remarkable dog at every level. Uh, so I'll, I'll not tell you any more about the story other than it is a very heartwarming uh, story, Endel, E-N-D-A-L. E Being a lover of dogs and especially Labradors, it's one that was and is very dear to my heart. And, and it set me off on a bit of a trail on uh, reading other similar books. And here's another one I'd recommend. It's all about trio, life, love and war with the world's bravest dog. This time a black spaniel used by the the uh 
the Allied forces in Afghanistan and um, this dog was used to sniff out landmines and um, improvised explosive devices that were uh, obviously planted so that the uh, the British and other troops would be um, blown up. And then another book similar but of a different nature this time. This is called One Dog at a Time, Saving the Strays of Helmand. This was a guy who worked uh, was a marine commando uh, stationed in Helmand and th they were living in grim conditions and they really were just almost like sitting ducks in their um, uh, in the compound where they were trying to uh, defend a, a patch of territory. Um, now we know that the forces have pulled out of, of Afghanistan and goodness knows how things will will um, uh, play out in, in that part of the world which has seen numerous conflicts and lots of different foreign nations coming and going over the years but um, this guy Penn Farthing was so moved by the plight of the stray dogs there that he began to care for one and then another and then he began actually once he'd finished his tour of duty he began a sort of charitable organisation that is uh, rehousing and rehoming the stray dogs of Helmand um, so there, there's something extremely moving about each of these. It's sometimes said that the world is divided into two groups of people, those who love dogs and get all that, and those who simply don't. And um, if you're on one side of the line or the other, you probably don't understand the other side. But um, those three books are really worth reading if you're a dog lover or even you remain to be convinced. Endel, the service dog that basically saved the family from uh, the, the, the difficulties they were in. It's all about Trio, about a spaniel who helps with uh, find explosives and also uh, one dog at a time um, saving the strays of Hellman. So I've kept my marks, uh, remarks uh, relatively short tonight um, because the books themselves as, as stories and narratives, if, if I delve too much into the detail, I really would be in danger of sporting them but a little sampler uh, there are many other books about dogs who have made a profound difference to people's lives either domestically or in the forces or other settings and, and there's quite a few other books of a similar nature that I have but those three in particular um, similar in, in, in ways but very distinct and in their own at their own ways too are really well worth a read and when you when you follow the news sometimes, and, and the news nearly always by definition uh, it leads with crises, difficulties, tragedies, things that make you half despair half the time, uh, it's, it's good to read these stories, these real life stories, um, and see how things have turned out for the better. Though there is a lot of tear jerking and a lot of sadness and some tragedy in each of these three books. One last wee postscript, when I looked at one of the YouTube videos for Endel, the, the, the Labrador that helped the, the Parton family, um, you know the way you get the upticks and the downticks, the likes and the dislikes? Uh, human nature never com continues to um, puzzle me, if, if not worse. Uh, when I looked at one of the videos, um, and I didn't look at any more um, for this, there were a number of people who gave this a thumbs down, the video and the story. Um, I leave you with a shrug of the shoulders. Where are some people at and what do they think and why? But, uh, you know, the detractors uh, are in every f area of life, uh, here no, no less than others. Uh, makes you shake your head and wonder, but nonetheless, let's affirm the positives and the wonders of these three different stories about um, people and dogs and the difference that they make to each other's lives. Thanks for listening. Uh, enjoy whatever you're doing in the meantime, reading and other activities. And we will tune in again next week for another episode of Bookmark. God bless. Happy reading.